Hello, this is another do-it-yourself video on how to restore a water pump in an outboard motor, I suppose, or an inboard maybe, I don't know how they work. So this water pump is out of a Honda B75 7.5 horsepower four-stroke motor. This is a water pump housing. <clears throat> and the water pump goes in here and spins around on a shaft. And the problem is, well, okay. Hi, this is another do-it-yourself video on how to repair a water pump housing on an outboard motor. This water pump and the water pump housing are out of a Honda B75 vintage outboard, probably a late 70s. And the water pump itself sits on or rides on top of a shaft which, which fits inside of this housing right here and the water pump spins around in there. <clears throat> and of course the housing is stationary. And the way the water pump works is that hole, it's hard to see from the camera, but that hole is not in the center. Uh, that hole is off center in the housing. It's closer to this surface. And what that means is as the water pump spins around, the fins open here and close there. And as it spins around, they open here and close there. And what that open and closing action in the fins does is it pumps water up that hole. It actually sucks it in from the bottom and sucks it in from here and pumps it out there. So this water pump itself spins around like this and you can imagine that there's some friction because those rubber fins do contact the sides of this water pump housing. And what I found was when I took the water pump out, there were a bunch of, there were a bunch of grooves in the housing like grind marks. So it's obvious that a, a rock or little pebbles or sand got in contact with the water pump, lodged in the water pump, and were forced around this housing and left a groove. And after that happened a million times or so, this surface was no longer smooth. The back side of the water pump, where the fins of the water pump barely touched the, uh, the housing, that was smooth and not damaged. But this side of the water pump, where the fins were actually the most compressed, that would be the spot where the, m the most friction would be between the housing and the fins, uh, the rubber fins, and uh, that's where the grinding was. In addition to that, there were three spots in this water pump where the pitting was very deep, and I, I don't quite understand why, you know, you can have a surface all like this with all the, it's all, you know, shiny because it's being worn, and then there were grooves in it, but in three places there were deep pits, and uh, <clears throat> I'm sure that was accelerating the wear on the water pump as well. So what I did was I took a grinding stone in a in a handheld grinder like this. Got this grinder with a shaft on it just to make it easy to maneuver. And I had uh, a stone that looked like this and it actually it was a pointed one. It wasn't quite that shape. And uh, I ground deep into those pits to grind out all the corrosion. And then I um, took that same grinding stone and and just smoothed out the surface the best I could, took those those ridges and grooves out of the whole uh, water pump housing. And then I mixed up uh, JB Weld, JB Quick Weld. This is a two-part component. Uh, I was gonna say epoxy, but that might not be the right term. And it cures hard, and uh, they claim you can actually drill it and tap it. So it when it cures, it's very hard. It's got uses for automotive plumbing and various other things. Uh, that's uh, a little spot where I mixed up the two the two compounds. One is white and one is black and it, when you mix it it comes out to be a dark gray and it sets in about uh, about an hour and then it gets hired after about 24 hours. So uh, this shows all I did was mix it and then with my finger I probably should have gloves on but I didn't I just smoothed out the compound like that and I'm actually going to polish it down or grind it down a little bit with a sander um, because it's now, I've now made the water pump smaller than it was when it was new. Um, but I'm going to grind it out a bit, and my hope is that uh, as soon as I start to see metal shining through what I'm grinding down, I'll stop, um, because that will be the uh, original diameter of the housing. And I also would expect that this will uh, cover over all those pits, and they will no longer accelerate the wear on the water pump. Okay, folks, so I've used my 
little grinding wheel on the mini grinder and you can see anywhere that's lighter colored that's a surface that uh, the grinding wheel did contact and anywhere that's a darker color um, that's the original finish left from my finger on the JB weld and so it's obvious that the smooth as it looked um, being applied by my finger there were high spots so um, I, I, I'm going to continue to grind this down until there are no more high spots so the pump is as efficient as possible and no water slips by the sides of the uh, rubber veins so I'll, uh, I'll give you an update in a minute when I'm finished grinding this out.